Welcome everybody to another video and in this video I'm going to be starting up a new series. I'm going to be doing a weekly trade recap where I go over all the trades that I've done and all the items that I've traded for and if you guys like this series I'll definitely continue it but let's go ahead and get right into the video. The first trade is a trade for the radioactive beast mode so I gave the super duper fly cap and the diamond crystal circlet for the radioactive beast mode in two gucci bags so it was a little bit of a win at the time and now it's an even bigger win because the super duper fly cap dropped so overall just a big win. The next trade is an upgrade into the Ice Valkyrie. So this is a 13k win on an upgrade. Now Ice Valk wasn't the best at the time but now it's gotten a lot better. So this is actually a huge win and I gave some decent items but overall very nice upgrade and a very nice win. Here I downgraded the Raven for some nice items and I got about a 2.7k overpay as well but I got some decent items like the Silver Cyborg Face Gear, Corblox Ice Crown and the Patriot Vision. This is one of my bigger trades of this week and I upgraded into the blue steel domino crown it was a 40k overpay at the time but the pink mermaid princess and the super fly cat both dropped 3k cents but overall this was definitely a big win considering that the blue steel domino crown gets 50k or more and i gave 40k even though i did give some decent items like the valkyrie helm and the troublemaker still definitely a win and i avoided losing on these two items right here next is a small upgrade into the purple mermaid princess and i only gave about an 100 overpay too so it was just a nice upgrade and it was almost equal this trade I downgraded the Steak Master Luke peanut butter hair for a nice overpay. I got about a 10k overpay on this with some decent items like the Bright Eyes Top Hat and overall just a nice downgrade and I can probably get the peanut butter hair back for about 7k. Here I upgraded into the Vlad's Lamin Sword. This was a 10k overpay at the time but now it's a 4k overpay. Now the main reason I did this trade is I need an upgrade and also I wanted to trade off these items before they dropped and they did drop so I guess I was right and ended up being a little bit of a win because I can get 10k on this Vlad Lamin Sword now. This trade isn't anything too crazy but it is crazy who I traded. So I traded the guy with the Ultra Commando which is the rarest item in the game. So this guy basically is the owner of the rarest item in the game, which I thought was pretty cool completing a trade with them, and I also got a little bit of a win on this trade. Next up I upgraded into the Vlad's Lemon Sword again, this time it was a 7k overpay with the Radioactive Beast mode, so this was about a pretty fair trade, I gave a nice item for another nice item, and honestly the only reason I did this is because I'm gonna wait for the Lemon Sword to raise, and then once it raises about 5k, which it should, then I can make a little bit more profit off of it. Here is the second biggest trade that I did this week. I I upgraded into the Dark Horns of the Pawnage and I gave the Yum and the Poison Horns for it. So since then, the Poison Horns have dropped 20k, Yum has gone up 20k, and the Dark Horns of Pawnage has gone up 40k. But this was an 80k overpay at the time. It was definitely a nice upgrade and maybe a little bit of a win, but mainly a fair trade and a nice upgrade. The next trade is an upgrade into the Prankster Face. So at the time, this was a 10k overpay with the Super Super Happy Face and the Silver King of the Night. And now the Prankster rose this morning, so it is now an equal trade. Actually, a slight win for me now. But overall, this was a nice upgrade and definitely a win, because now I can get like 20 to 30k on Prankster with maybe even the same items. Here is the big trade that you've all been waiting for, the Clockwork Headphones trade. Now, this is one of the biggest trades that I've done in a while. I haven't done too many big upgrades like this, but I upgraded into the Clockwork Shades with the Dark Horns of Pawnage, Prankster, and the Black Iron Commando. So at the time, this was a 43k overpay and definitely a good win at the time. And since then, the Dark Horns of Pawnage have gone up 40, Prankster's gone up 10, and the Clockwork Shades have gone up 60. So definitely a nice win and definitely a really nice upgrade. And I'm really glad I got this trade. The next trade is a downgrade on my Ice Valkyrie. So I gave the Ice Valkyrie for the Super Fly Cap, Prankster, Black Iron Commando, and the Gucci Bag. So it is a 10k overpay at the time, and now it is like a 17k overpay. But this was definitely a nice trade because I got the Prankster, and the Prankster actually rose 10k cents as well. And Prankster should keep rising. Ice Falk is doing a little bit better now though, but I guess it is definitely a nice win. This trade is a nice overpay on our Elf Ears, so it's about a 2.8k overpay with some decent items, and just a good overpay. Next, I downgraded one of the Vlad's Lamin Swords for a 15k overpay at the time with the Supa and Dupa Fly Cap, so it was definitely more than I gave for one of these Vlad's, and just a win in general. Here is a nice upgrade into the Musica Frigidus, so I gave the big Silverthorn Antlers and a couple different smalls, and also a small here. So it was 5v1 in the trade, and it was about a 7k overpay at the time, but the big silver thorn antlers have dropped a ton since, so it's actually about equal now, which is definitely a big win. This trade is also a small mass into my JJ top hat, so I got about a 22k overpay in total, with some decent items, 
I got the Black Iron Horns, the Purple Bubble Trouble, Skull Bandit, DIY Headrow, and a few smalls. Next I upgraded into the Silver Punk Face, so I gave a 20k overpay with 4 RBMs, and it's a pretty fair trade and I think I'll actually be able to get a little bit better than this, but I just needed an upgrade and this was perfect. And the next trade I downgraded the Valkyrie Helm for a 20k overpay, with some decent items I got 2 Playful Vampires, the Kawaii Plush Thing, and the Miss Scarlet. And lastly I did an upgrade into the Super Super Happy Face, so I gave a 10k overpay with some decent items, the Black Iron Horns and a few faces, this was just a nice upgrade and a little bit of a win I'd say. So those are the highlights of my first trading week recap, and I'm very curious what you guys think of that. I think it's kind of cool how I'm able to give you guys advice, and in this series I'm actually able to show you guys the trades that I do, and maybe you can learn a little bit through it and just see what items I get in general. And let me know in the comment section down below if you like this series, but that is going to be it for me, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.